Welcome back guys, hope you're having a great time out there. Today is another top 10, but this time it's top 10 collaborations that we think need to be up there. Yeah. Uh, would I be saying again in my shit? <laughs> <laughs> you're not with it today, bro, are you really? <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Yeah, what's happening? I'm back with my boy TJ. We got another top 10. This time we're doing collaborations. It's going to be some fire. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Ready? All right, cool. Uh Three, two, one. Welcome back, guys. Hope you're having a great time out there. Please do, like we always say, go and check out the Shudo podcast with me and the bro, AOA Kicks ATL. And also like us on our YouTubes and our socials. Go and check out the bro, AOA Kicks ATL, and myself at Love Kick Customs. And you know, if you like the stuff, come and subscribe, come and chat to us. Conversation. Let's break it down and do all the awesome things that we need to do. Isn't that right, bro? For sure, man. For sure. For sure. All right, right. Let's get right into this. I've got one honorable mention for the top 10 collaborations and then being so much collaborations over the last couple of years. One honorable mention, bro. Have you got an honorable mention? I did not. It uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. I, I just thought I can't leave this out of my top 10 because this deserves to be in the top 10. Um, but yeah, collaborations are awesome. We know over the last couple of years, the collaborations have been up there. I'm going to show you my honorable mention. My honorable mention is oh. Don C, bro. The Jordan 2 Don C. That That is, that deserves to be in the top 10. I, I don't know how this is not in the top 10. This deserves to be in the top 10. That sneaker doesn't 100% deserve to be in the top 10. I'm mad now. I'm definitely, it's definitely an honorable mention for both of us. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't think of this one. It would have been in my top 10 for sure. Yeah, yeah, bro. That, that's such a dope, dope sneaker. To be honest, um, I like all, there's three colorways. Um, I love all of them. All three colorways are dope. So, so dope. I, I think but I that's like the, on, that... the tan colorway the best. But this blue yeah. is definitely out there. Yeah, but you, you know, you know, when we talk about quilted inner lining, this building is the quilted outer lining. See what I'm saying? This is dope. But yeah, that's my on, on, mine and Q's honorable mention. All right, so my, do you want to start or should I start, bro? You go. Okay, I go, and my first uh, number to, uh, number ten on my list, it is the Jordan One High Dave Whites, bro. It's, it's it's technically it is a collaboration, correct? Yep. Yeah, cool. cool. It's collaboration, but this this I, came out this came out what way way back. Yeah, um, technically is is what I was going for when I was picking my collabs. Um, this Dave White. Is one of my favorite Jordan ones for sure. Um, hard to come by right now in decent condition, uh, brand new condition. You're looking at a pretty penny. These crazy, yep. bro. Definitely These crazy. Bro. What's your adult pick for number 10? What's your number 10, bro? None other than the Pata Air Max One Wave. Monarch. Oh, the, the Wave Pack. Glory. Okay, the Monarch colorway. I thought we were going to just do the whole wave, the whole wave nah, in that. Nah, um, I like the Monarch. It was the first one. It's the only one I was able to get my hands on. And um, had I been able to get the other pairs that I wanted, it will probably still be my favorite pair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, ironically, my number nine is... The monarch, they were the pat pattern monarchs. Um, I, I do I do think it started a really good wave, and it, ironically, it did start a way wave from the from the name of the sneaker. Um, but yeah, but yeah, just the monarchs is such a great, great colorway. I think this deserves definitely to be in the top 10. So, what's your number nine now, bro? My number nine is a shoe that we both love, Jordan 5 K54. Ooh. Technically a collab because K54 is not a subsidiary of Nike like Jordan no. is. So no. K54-5, the, the GR version, not the friends and family version, which we covered on the friends and family top team. Y'all go check that out if y'all ain't seen that. Yeah, definitely. It's such a dope, such a dope colorway. I do like both of them, and I'm I'm glad I could 
pick up two of these and customize one of them to be the black black variation but my arms twist over that that was dope that's definitely a dope colorway uh my number eight now is another air max but this is the air max one heavy the concept heavies bro this kind of brought something to the table in terms of the air maxes um that collaboration was dope all three of those sneakers are dope far out yeah. mellows and the heavy such a dope sneaker bro yeah, it took it took a little bit for me to not put the concepts, any of the concepts. Um, I probably would have picked the heavy also because it's my favorite one. But my number eight is also Air Max One. Ooh. But I went with the Travis Scott Baroque Brown. Very underestimated sneaker, in my opinion. Um, yeah. The prices tanked on this sneaker once they released. Um, and they're pretty reasonable. I'm, I'm probably going to be in the market for a pair pretty soon. The Wheat Mocha. I started to put the Wheat Mocha, but it was more exclusive. So yeah. I decided to go with the Baroque Brown. Man. Baroque Brown, yeah. I, I, th I think this this one collaboration um, is, another, is another sneaker that a lot of people didn't really pay attention to. And then when it came out, and they really, even, even, the, um, even the all yellow pair, that that the chat satin golds those are crazy bro these this is a very underestimated pair of sneakers very yeah. underestimated pair super of sneakers. underrated man yeah 100 percent um but yeah that's a dope 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 sneaker there's a lot of air maxes and that that's tr a tribute to uh the air max uh basically uh, would you call it the air max wave we've seen over the last couple of years yeah yeah, great. All right, my number seven is a heavyweight. It's the Air Jordan 3 Atmos, bro. That pack is dope. Let's just put it that way. I I really, really, really wish to see more of these sneakers in person. Because yeah. I have yet to see a pair of these on feet. Um, no. I know it, we know it's an older sneaker and people probably holding them. Maybe some people trying to hold them for sale, but definitely one of the dopest Jordan Three collaborations out there. It's, yeah, it's yeah, up the it's up at the top. But the whole pack, I I chose the Jordan Three Atmos because obviously I'm a I'm a Jordan fan. Um, the the uh, the Air Max One is so dope. That's iconic. This is so dope. The Jordan Three Atmos is iconic, bro. This this is grail. This is almost grail worthy. Absolutely dope sneaker. Yeah, that's my number seven. The safari instead of the elephant print is well. yeah yes bro yes it's bro so cool. you know what with the with the jordan freeze recently i've been noticing it just little tweak the elephant print just a tiny bit and it still it brings a different vibe to the sneaker such a great sneaker jordan free what an awesome sneaker for sure number seven, seven bro one of my favorites hey. i'm on my year jordan one Underrated once again. Uh, I think most of my favorite collabs, and mind y'all, these are our favorite collabs. We're not ranking yeah. these as far as um popularity or impact or no. none of that. This is these our, are our personal. personal favorites. Yep, um, yep. underrated sneaker. I love Alma My Year, I love the Jordan One. It's a simple colorway, but the, the story they go with the sneaker, the materials just unmatched to me, man so yeah yeah i agree i definitely agree all right my number six bro it's a heavyweight it's another heavyweight the jordan four calls this sneaker is ridiculous this sneaker is ridiculous let's just put it this way this but i like the gray version rather than the black version but um i like do like both of them but bro the calls for what a sneaker bro yeah, I think I like the black one a little more than I like the gray, but um, this sneaker did so much for the Jordan Four in general. Um, for the culture as well. Yeah, I think it. I think it sparked a uh, love for Jordan Fours that some people may not have had before. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we've seen um, suede midsole on Jordan Four since then. Just an iconic sneaker, man. Yeah, yeah, iconic, very iconic sneaker. What is your number six, bro? Number six is the A. Travis Six. A. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
it's probably one of the dopest Jordan sixes ever. Yep. I put it. Yep. I put it up. I I'll put this up against some of the OG colorways. I don't think it's right to, but I would put this up against some of the OG colorways of Jordan six. And that's and that's a video you need to watch, tune into. We got we are definitely gonna do colorways that almost overtake the OGs. We'll we'll be doing a discussion on that a video for that. But yeah, this 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 is you're right. This is this almost. This this literally is in line with an OG, I would say. Yeah, such a probably, subtle sneaker. Probably the dopest six outside of Dawn Becker is probably the dopest non OG. Dawn Becker is another dope. I have, but like, I'm I'm lucky to have both of them, and I can vouch for both of these sneakers. The the, the olive, the Travis Scott olives, what hard? It's hard, hard, such a hard sneaker. And obviously, the Dawn Becker six is such a great sneaker. All right, my um number five is. Uh, a five bro which is the supreme fives i love all of those supreme fives but the camel one sticks out the most to me i love this this is definitely um missing from my list um once again i don't know how i didn't think of this sneaker it would definitely be in my list probably in the same spot as as you got it um yeah. grail status for me um been on the hunt for the years in in good condition for a good price for a little while yeah the hunt will continue for, the hunt for, always continues for the supreme he, uh desert camo in particular yeah the desert camos are dope um the, the thing is i'm glad our lists are different because you're bringing something i i'm re remembering sneakers that i missed and you're remembering sneakers that you missed from our list so it's good that we got different lists in total but yeah the the, the desert camo supreme fives is my number five pick what's your number five pick bro my number five is the only air force one that i really 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 want for my collection <laughs> is the off-white mca air force one um it was tough for me to choose between the, these and the momas i love the moma off-white air yeah. force one but this mca is just it's probably one of the it's probably top three unc yep. colorways ever yep yep i agree i agree with that definitely agree with that I, I can't think of another UNC sneaker right now that I will put up against this outside of some of the PEs, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the, this was the off white for uh, off white MCA. Was it MC? MCA. I can't, uh, MCA, yes. MCA UNC is um is probably up there with one of the most iconic Air Force Ones. Yeah, definitely. Yep. All right, cool. My number four is um which you're probably not gonna like my number four is i have to say that yeezy 2 is is one of the most iconic collaborations especially the red october i i think i put it up there because uh, i recognize what it is for the for the culture yeah um i think this is a technical collab yep yeezy was signed with nike um when when this happened the game definitely changed. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. I, I, I don't even, I don't even recognize this shoe as a collab, really. I recognize it as a landmark. Yeah. You know and, that, <laughs> and that, and this is why, this is why it's up there with my number four. It's because basically for me, this collaboration, is it number, is it my number four? Yes, yeah, my number four. Yeah. This this collaboration was one of the most iconic collaborations ever. Like I'm talking, um, like for, for what Kanye did with uh, Yeezy One and Yeezy Two, and uh, the way the Red October was dropped, and the, all the all the the high hysteria behind the Red Red Octobers. Yeah, this this collaboration. You, you don't forget about the other two either. The, the Yeezy Two is a dope sneaker. Dope, dope sneaker. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You got that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number, what's your number four, bro? Yo. Just wore them the other day. Um, Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yes, I one agree. Of the, one of the best Jordan 4s you could probably own uh, at, at this moment in time. PSG Jordan 4. Um, I just love this, this shoe, bro. 
I love all the PSG Jordans, but I think this four is the best one outside of the uh, the first PSG one. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, I really didn't want to put on the list. We already talked about it on, on a different list, <laughs> but yeah, man, PSG four. Get you some, man. They, I mean, listen. If you like quality on fours, you you ain't gonna t- find too many fours better than this. Oh yeah, I, I've I've worn the PSG four. I've, I've got it in my rotation. And that is one of the hard. You know what? Even the back tab on that is really dope. Um, the rubbery, the, I mean, this this, yeah. this 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 one had the rubber back tab before the SB fours did. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's that's and that's that's interesting. That, but yeah, but yeah, the PSG fours is such a dope sneaker. Very very dope. I love it. Absolutely love this sneaker. All right, my number three is a number three. It is the Amamanier three. Like this sneaker, so great, so great, such a great sneaker. Um, it came out. It came you out. Can find an adult picture, bro. You got the baby version. <laughs> <laughs> I got a baby version. I just I just clipped I just clipped the picture and put it on there. But yeah, I'm when you're free. Not the baby version. The adults version is a dope sneaker. Like absolutely, <laughs> everything about this is absolutely dope. Um, the collaboration probably one of the best frees outside the OGs. Um, include it's up there with it's probably Dawnbreaker free is my other fra- other other couple of favorites. There's other couple of favorites. That I think there's a Westbrook free as well. That's pretty dope. But yeah, but the, this this I'm when you're free is up there, bro. Up there as one of the probably best Jordan freeze outside the OGs. No! I had to be up there in my number three. Definitely, definitely. You can't go wrong with that. No. Mine. Your number three would be the I'm on my year Jordan four. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the more I look at the shoe, um. The more I appreciate it, the more I appreciate the materials, the more I appreciate the construction and also the story that went along with it. Um, the color blocking, the materials, just everything about this this sneaker is special, is different. We probably won't see another Jordan 4 like this, man. No, no, no. Jordan probably 4, not. my year. If you, if you feel like it's underrated, that means you ain't seen it before. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Uh, like, if you if you don't if you don't think this sneaker is one of the best Jordan fours ever, you probably haven't seen it in hand. That's that's what. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably it is it's such a great <laughs> Jordan four. Right, my number two is the Jordan five transformer. I don't know if it's a collaboration. I'm going to call it collaboration with Transformers. Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> why? That shoot that that shoot never came out, bro. Uh, I wouldn't put it on my on my on my thing. I I think this deserves a a release. It does, but it is it never came out. See, I, you, we gotta <laughs> we gotta discuss the rules of, of these uh, top tens <laughs> before we engage. Because you pulling up stuff that didn't come out like this. Every everything else you you pulled up came out, but this didn't come out. So <laughs> I wanted to come fair. out. I, I, ho- I hope it comes out. But yeah, this is I had to put it up there. Um, I just I, I'm just a selfishness. I put it up there. Number two, transform with Jordan five. I had it on the list, bro. The list of stuff that okay. Anyway, <laughs> now I I agree with you, but I just, you hurt me. I, I need to see that right now. Um, <laughs> number two, what's your number two, bro? Number two is the greatest Jordan one outside of the OGs to ever see the light of day is the Union Two to one. one. Yep, yep. Um, I got the blue colorway up here. I I like the blue colorway a little bit better than the black toe colorway. However, you can't go wrong with either one. I mean. I'll say it again, and, and I'll be quiet. The greatest Jordan one to ever release outside of the OG colorways. Yeah, yeah, I I, I do agree with you, and that this is this is why the Union one is my number one. But there is a number one tie, and I think me personally, I would I I Union one is tied with this Jordan one, and um, the one the my number one pick well, along with the know. Union, you know what it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the off white, Chicago. Yeah, it's it's too it's too iconic to leave out, out, out of any list. 
I chose to um, omit the off-white one because it's not one of my personal favorites. I understand what yeah. it is. Um, it's, it's to me, it's a sneaker to have for its significance. I, I don't yeah. like it um, aesthetically more than I like a lot of other sneakers. Yeah, but yeah, because yeah. of what it is, what it represents, who it represents, you you got to have that union one up there. Yeah, yeah. I this is why this is why I I think both of those are tied for me personally. The, the Chicago and the Union. It's the, the, the two. Both of them are so great. Both of them are so great. Like in terms I of kind the of, collaborations. I kind of figured you was gonna have an off white one, which made it easier for me to not put yeah. it on there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I like the fact our lists were different, but um, it's I'm gonna just say we didn't have uh, even though we didn't have the Travis Scott Jordan One Mocha um, high, even though we didn't have some of the other collaborations like Dawn, some Dawn Beckers in there, which all deserve to be in this top ten. Remember, guys, this is just our personal favorites or what we think. Even though I don't think I'm a, I don't, I don't think I ever have the Chicago Off White in my rotation, um, just because of what it is. But I, if I did, it would just be for the relevance, um, like you said. But I'm not I'm not gonna go out there to get a, like a Chicago. I don't I don't I, if I did I wouldn't have gone for it in the first place if you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But my number one <laughs> is the I'm a Jordan three. It's it's just to me it's just the greatest collab. Um I put it over the union based on meaning. Yeah yeah um meaning for for myself and the story that's being told through the sneakers um yeah so yeah union union is is definitely up there union is grill but to me this i'm on my year three is grill which is why i had to break my my wallet to uh, get my pair so yeah, you, the interesting thing with the sneaker also is the fact that the, even the, the whole Ab, whole Abamania collaboration is absolutely dope. Every single one of those is actually been a winner in terms of the collaboration, which makes it awesome. Every every collaboration's had one or two sneakers that haven't done well, but yes, even the twelve Abamania twelves are dope. Uh, we're gonna get the fives, which are hopefully gonna be dope. Yet so many good collaborations out there. Yeah, um, it, which is why the the five is not on my list because it ain't dropped yet. But had we yeah. done this list after that um, on my year fire release, it would have been on there regardless. Yeah, yeah. We don't and even know yeah, what I, it looks like fully yet. And it's already in my um already in my top five sneakers of the year. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up so I can put it legitly in my list. Cause you know, we do pickup lists, we don't do yeah, just general just rankings. Wish list. That's not a wish list, it's a pickup list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um Guys, this this was our top tens. Obviously, you've seen our, our top ten collaborations. What we feel. Um, let us know what your top ten collaborations are. Let us know what you would like would actually replace or what you would like in that top ten. Obviously, I I can I recognize Q. Your list was more based on um, uh, personal favorites, very personal favorites because all the, all the collaborations that you have were in there as well in terms of the ones to ones. Uh, I've many ones, fours and threes. Um, my per, my I I picked it out just more of a. Um, I even though I cheated a bit, I picked out more of a um, uh, re representative of what it does, what it's done to the culture as well as my favorites. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 was a good list. That was actually a good good take to the two lists as well. But um, Q, anything you want to say before we call it? No, man, go and get us out of here, bro. No worries. Okay, on that note, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back and thank you for always supporting, guys. Like I say, or like me and Q say on the end of the videos, I hope you have an amazing week, amazing month, and an amazing year. And I hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you deserve to get the sneakers you want. For me and from Q, peace out for now, guys. And peace. 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 <laughs>